understand why people my age don't cook Korean food and why they go to like H Mart and they buy it. Happy Saturday. I decided to rock a different hairstyle today because I haven't washed my hair since Tuesday. Yeah, I haven't washed my hair since Tuesday. I've taken a shower pretty much every day. I just haven't washed my hair because I don't know. I just, after like doing stuff around the house, it becomes time to like go to sleep and I just, my hair takes forever to dry and I don't like to sleep with dry, I mean with wet hair. Um, although I could blow dry it, but it's just like a hassle. I try not to blow dry my hair if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, it's hella oily, hella dirty, and I didn't want to put dry shampoo in it because I use um, Living Proofs dry shampoo, and if any of you guys use that, it is $25 a bottle. So if I don't have to go anywhere, like I try not to use it. Um, so yeah, I've been rocking oily, smelly hair for the past couple of days and I'm not proud of it, but I am going to take a shower today and wash my hair. So that's that. Um, and then, yeah, I just decided to film a video because there's nothing else to do. Bronx and Edwin are on their walk right now and it's such a beautiful day. I, yeah. They usually do their um, daily walks together, um, so I leave them to it. And then for me, I am going to be cooking. So for this week, I'm going to be cooking Korean food. Um, I'm going to make a whole bunch of side dishes, and they take a long time. So I'm going to try and break it up a little bit so I don't have to be doing this all at once. Pretty much meal planning for the next week. So the first thing I'm going to make is ojingo chemuchim, which is dried squid that is in like a... Um, hot pepper paste seasoning so normally we buy the korean shredded squid but i sent edwin to the grocery store yesterday so leave it up to a guy and i mean and he doesn't cook korean food so he doesn't know what to get but he said the last time i made it it was too hard and it's like i can't really control much of how hard the dried squid is because it all comes in like the same texture and like hardness pretty much i mean sometimes you can get like a end up you know choosing like a random one out of the bunch uh within a pack that's a little bit softer because it's like thinly sliced um but so <laughs> edwin took it into his own hands to get shredded squid this time which looks like this this one is a japanese brand it looks like no i'm sorry taiwan but it looks I don't know what language it is it's not korean for sure so anyways this one is shredded and it looks like because like for the most part the korean ones that i buy looks more like i don't know if you guys can see but that one you can see everything else is like shredded pretty much but then there's just one right here that's a little bit thicker so um so this recipe is pretty easy all you need is a pack of dried squid olive oil and then this is actually rice syrup sesame oil hot pepper paste and then four cloves of garlic i bought this thing because i thought it would be so much easier to not have to chop up garlic because it leaves your fingers smelling like garlic you know so i bought this thing the thing is you have to be strong to use this thing and i'm not the strongest girl out there I admit it I need to work out oh shoot like if you put a piece of garlic a whole piece of garlic in there oh my gosh oh it's not moving anywhere I can't where's Edwin when you need him oh, fuck. okay got it guys I got it oh, oh my gosh oh, I think I almost popped a blood vessel doing this thing oh. Oh no. I bought this to make my life easier and it does in terms of like no smelly fingers, but damn, this thing is freaking hard AF. Um all right, hold on. Oh, there you go. Yay. Okay. I've incorporated everything. It is shiny and I'm going to add the dried squid in now. <sighs> Guys, amateur chef talking over here. I forgot to cut the squid before I 
freaking started mixing it, of course. Last time our friends came over and I made this, uh, my friend choked on this. I thought, yeah. I mean, he didn't choke on it. It was just, it, it wasn't making it with his, its way down his throat. And so it was like caught in between. After that, I brought scissors out and I cut it. And I, yeah, I totally forgot to cut these. So I'm just gonna have to cut them after I'm done. Uh, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like cleaner if I just cut it before I started mixing them. But what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Side dish number one complete. I just topped it with some sesame seed. I just got a call from Edwin um, asking me to pick him up because him and Bronx went pretty far and Bronx is not gonna walk back. So then Edwin would have to carry him and it's just a long walk. So I'm gonna go pick him up right now. Aw, you're not gonna run to me? <laughs> Bronx! Look at him. Hello. Oh, that was a long walk. Bronxy! Hi! Was it a good walk? Yeah, it was a long walk. That's a good walk, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Now that everyone's safe and home, and Bronx is taking a nap. I'm gonna make braised baby potatoes, so I have them right here. And then I'm just gonna have to wash them in cold water, make sure they're clean, and then I'm gonna start putting them, or frying them over the stove top. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to make, um, what do you call it, like steamed eggplant that's been seasoned. So um, I'm gonna start prepping the eggplant and I'm gonna have to steam them and Lucky for us, when we got married, we had some credits on our Zola account. So with that credit, we bought a whole bunch of stuff. As you guys saw, we bought like the all clad pans um, and I actually got them more all clad nonstick pans. I didn't know how expensive or how, like, how much people raved about all clad, but we are pretty much like all clad out. So let me just show you guys the most recent additions. This is the all clad steamer slash stock pot. So it comes with a couple of different pieces. There's a steamer right there. And then if you take this out, there's also a pasta insert where you just put the pasta in, boil it, and then you just take this part out. And then ta-da, that's all you have to do. Look at the sweet little boy waiting for his dad to come out of the bathroom. I almost burnt the potatoes, so this is, oh gosh, it's hard. Um, this is the rice syrup and soy sauce and it literally became candy because I burnt it. So I was able to save the potatoes. I'm gonna try a second time with the sauce. Round two and I'm gonna have to watch over this like it's my life because it will go from being okay and then all of a sudden it'll burn in a second because of the rice syrup. Potatoes are done. I almost burned them for a second time, but I saved it just in time. So this is gonna go over here. Eggplant, check. Green onions, check. Okay, I finished making the eggplant and it tastes pretty good. Bronxy's gonna go out on a walk with daddy. I will kick on it all. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bronx. Get me a tall mocha frap, okay? Okay. I only cooked three dishes and I'm already freaking over it. Oh my gosh. Somebody send help. I, where do I even start? So, I love Korean food. That's what I grew up on. But, damn. Like, it is a lot of work. And I knew this before. And I, it's like not my first time cre cooking Korean food. And I cooked it like a couple weeks ago. No, maybe more like a month ish ago but i don't know why i thought i always say the same thing over and over again like i know it's going to be hard i know it's going to be tiring i know it's not going to be fast but i still wanted to do it because in the end it'll pay off you make all this panchan in bulk and then it'll last you like the whole week if not some more depending on how much you make um so i knew like the end result it would be nice for the next like week but damn cooking it is a pain in the ass it's not like korean food is like add a teaspoon of this a tablespoon of that it's like uh, it's difficult 
and I understand why people my age don't cook Korean food and why they go to like H Mart and they buy it because it's just a lot of work and honestly I don't even know how our parents did it because my parents would be working full-time jobs and our moms they would have Korean food with all these different panchans and like even soup uh, with every meal so I don't know how to how they did it back in the day but yeah and I only cooked three side dishes how is that even possible oh and the potatoes let me tell you about the potatoes um, I took my eyes off of them for like a second and then they freaking burned and thankfully I was able to save them just in time so I tried like another batch of making the sauce with the rice syrup and everything I put it on really low heat I turned around to wash the dishes I forgot about the potatoes I had on the stove this is probably the last side dish I'm making for today because I still have one I think two more that I want to make um no, maybe three more. Here is a potato salad in the making. There's potatoes that I've mashed, and then that's rice syrup, some pickled cucumber, and then mayonnaise. I'm gonna mix it all up. Korean style potato salad. Guess what I'm giving him? This plastic container with his bully stick in here. Go get it! Yay, Brooks! Oh, 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 go get it! I know I said I was done cooking, but I lied. One last dish. So I'm gonna make kiranmari, which is, um, I guess, kind of like a, like literally an egg roll. So you roll up the egg basically and I'll show you Hopefully I don't mess it up. So this is an egg mixture. It's just an egg with um, little pieces of spam and then scallion and I just put in a little bit of crushed um, black pepper Last roll in. Oh, oh man, it ripped. Oh no, it ripped. What am I gonna do? Fudge, this is bad news. I think I cooked it too much. Oh no, it's too thick. Okay, so <laughs> it's supposed to be prettier than this, but this is an epic fail because that was not supposed to rip. I think I made this too thick, or and no, I made this too thick for sure. And um. <sighs> Better luck next time. So this is what it looks like. There's the spam and the scallions. Hi. All right, guys. It is time to go to sleep now. Guess what time it is? 10:24, and I didn't take a shower yet. I don't think a shower is gonna happen tonight. Sorry. We're gonna call it a night. We'll see you next time. Bye.